Did you know McDonald's processes a mind-boggling 9 million pounds of French fries every single day? That's enough to fill 63 transport trucks. Ever wonder how they manage to turn so many potatoes into those perfectly golden crispy fries we all know and love? Well, you're about to find out. At the heart of this massive operation is the humble russet Burbank potato. McDonald's chooses this specific variety for a reason. These spuds have just the right balance of starch and moisture, ensuring that perfect crispy exterior and fluffy interior we all crave. But how do these potatoes make their way from the farm to your local McDonald's? It all starts with heavy-duty machines that dig up and clean the potatoes right in the field. These impressive harvesters do the work of hundreds of people, efficiently preparing the potatoes for their journey. So how do these ordinary-looking potatoes transform into those golden, crispy fries we can't resist? Let's head to the factory to uncover the secrets behind McDonald's French fry magic. As we step into the factory, a world of cutting-edge technology unfolds. Did you know that McDonald's uses water so powerful it can slice through potatoes at highway speeds? This precision is just the beginning of how they achieve fry perfection. The journey of the humble potato through McDonald's French fry factory is nothing short of extraordinary. It all starts with a thorough cleaning process. Imagine millions of potatoes tumbling through massive water-filled containers, riding on vibrating belts that efficiently shake off every speck of dirt. This isn't your average kitchen sink rinse, it's an industrial-scale potato spot treatment. But the pampering doesn't stop there. The potatoes then move on to a delicate peeling process. Unlike your typical kitchen peeler that might waste some of the potato, McDonald's uses a method designed to remove only the skin. This ensures maximum yield from each spud, because when you're dealing with millions of potatoes, every little bit counts. After peeling, these potatoes get one final wash. But this isn't just any rinse cycle. The potatoes are bathed in a special solution containing chlorine and other safe chemicals. This step ensures that every single fry starts its journey perfectly clean and ready for the next exciting stage. Now here's where things get really interesting. Have you ever noticed how every McDonald's fry seems to be exactly the same size? Well, that's no coincidence. The secret lies in an incredibly precise cutting process that sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie. Imagine potatoes racing through the air at speeds between 60 to 70 miles per hour. That's faster than most cars on the highway. But instead of racing down a road, these potatoes are flying towards high-pressure water knives. These powerful jets of water slice through the potatoes with incredible precision, creating those perfectly uniform fries we all know and love. But the quest for the perfect fry doesn't end with the cut. McDonald's has another trick up its sleeve, a special treatment involving sugar and a compound called sodium pyrophosphate. Now you might be wondering, sugar on fries? Really? But there's a good reason for this sweet addition. The sugar plays a crucial role in achieving that signature golden brown color when the fries are cooked. It's like giving each fry a tiny suntan before it even hits the fryer. Meanwhile, the sodium pyrophosphate acts like a color preservative. It prevents the cut potatoes from turning an unappetizing gray or brown color during storage, whether they're cooked or frozen. This meticulous attention to detail at every stage of the process is what sets McDonald's fries apart. From the careful washing and peeling to the high-speed cutting and special treatment, every step is designed to ensure that each fry meets McDonald's exacting standards for quality and consistency. You might think you know everything about how McDonald's makes their fries, but there's a surprising twist in the cooking process. Have you ever wondered why McDonald's fries have that perfect balance of crispy exterior and fluffy interior? The answer lies in a unique two-stage frying method. This double frying technique is the secret behind that irresistible crunch we all love. The first stage, known as par frying, is where the magic begins. The cut potatoes are first boiled to soften their insides, preparing them for their initial trip to the fryer. This partial cooking is crucial. It's done to about 50% doneness, setting the stage for that perfect texture we all crave. But what makes these fries truly special isn't just the cooking method, it's also the oil they're fried in. McDonald's uses a carefully crafted blend of oils, including canola, corn, soybean, 
and hydrogenated soybean oils. You might be wondering why so many different oils? Well, each type of oil brings something unique to the table, enhancing the overall quality of the fries. What's really interesting about this oil blend is that it's free from trans fats and cholesterol. This isn't just a health consideration, it's part of the science behind creating the perfect fry. The combination of oils contributes to that golden color and crispy texture we've come to expect from McDonald's fries. After their first dip in the fryer, the fries aren't quite ready for packaging yet. They go through an air drying process that lasts about five to 10 minutes. This step might seem small, but it's actually crucial. It removes excess oil from the fries, preparing them for the next stage of their journey. Now here's where things get really cool. After air drying, the fries take a trip through a special freezer tunnel. This quick freezing process is essential for maintaining the quality and consistency of the fries during storage and transport. It's what allows McDonald's to ensure that whether you're eating fries in New York or New Delhi, you're getting the same great taste and texture. The freezing step is more than just preservation. It's about perfection. It helps the fries maintain their shape and ensures they all look uniform. This consistency is part of what makes McDonald's fries so recognizable and beloved around the world. But remember, this is only the first part of the double frying process. The second frying happens at your local McDonald's restaurant, just before the fries are served to you. This final frying is what gives the fries their signature crispy exterior while keeping the inside soft and fluffy. This carefully crafted double frying technique is the result of years of research and development. It's what allows McDonald's to deliver that perfect balance of crunch and softness in every bite. The first frying sets the stage while the second frying brings it home, creating that golden brown color and irresistible texture we all know and love. While the double frying technique is crucial, it's just one part of the story. Ever thought about how those golden sticks make their way from potato fields to your local McDonald's? The process involves cutting edge technology that's so precise, it can produce millions of nearly identical fries every single day. At the heart of McDonald's fry production are advanced machines that operate with incredible precision. These automated systems are the unsung heroes behind the consistency of McDonald's fries worldwide. Imagine a production line where potatoes are transformed into perfectly cut, golden fries with minimal human intervention. It's like watching a well-choreographed dance of machines, each playing its part in creating those iconic fries. The level of accuracy these machines achieve is mind-boggling. They're so efficient that they can handle any shape or size of potato thrown their way. In fact, as one expert put it, these machines are so efficient that no matter how you place the onion, they'll figure it out. This same principle applies to potatoes, ensuring that each fry is cut to perfection, regardless of the potato's shape or orientation. But what's truly impressive is the failure rate of these machines. After rigorous testing and continuous improvements, they've achieved a failure rate of just 0.001%. To put that into perspective, it means there's less than one imperfect fry in every 100,000 produced. That's an astonishing level of consistency when you consider the millions of fries McDonald's produces daily. Once the fries are cut and prepared, they embark on the next leg of their journey. The frozen fries are carefully packed and transported in cool trucks or storage areas. This isn't just about keeping them cold. It's about maintaining their quality and preventing any spoilage. The goal is to ensure that when these fries reach your local McDonald's, they're in the same perfect condition as when they left the factory. But the journey doesn't end there. When the fries arrive at McDonald's restaurants, they undergo one final crucial step, the second frying. This is where the magic happens, transforming those frozen potato sticks into the hot, crispy fries we all know and love. It's this final frying that gives McDonald's fries their signature crispy texture and golden color. Throughout this entire process, from factory to fryer, McDonald's maintains rigorous quality control measures. It's not just about relying on machines. There's a combination of automation and manual checks at every stage. This dual approach allows McDonald's to catch any potential defects, ensuring that only the highest quality fries make it to customers' trays. This attention to detail is what allows McDonald's to maintain consistency across billions of fries served daily. Whether you're enjoying fries in New York, 
Tokyo, or anywhere in between, you can expect the same golden, crispy perfection in every box. It's a testament to the power of modern food technology combined with strict quality standards. Have you ever stopped to think about the incredible journey your McDonald's fries take from potato to your tray? It's a perfect blend of tradition and technology. The process starts with carefully selected russet Burbank potatoes, then moves through high-tech washing, peeling, and cutting stages. Those powerful water knives slice potatoes at highway speeds, creating perfectly uniform fries. Then comes the unique two-stage frying process using a special oil blend that gives the fries their signature taste and texture. This combination of traditional methods and advanced technology allows McDonald's to meet the massive global demand while maintaining consistent quality. It's a testament to modern food engineering, producing millions of nearly identical fries every day. So next time you enjoy McDonald's fries, remember, you're not just tasting a snack, you're experiencing a marvel of modern food engineering. Have you ever wondered how a McDonald's hamburger goes from raw ingredients to your plate? Today, we're going to explore the detailed process of making a hamburger and how McDonald's serves over 69 million customers daily in more than 100 countries. Every part of the hamburger, from the bun to the toppings, has its own unique story. Get ready for a tasty journey with Bulk Bites, where old traditions meet modern techniques in a busy factory. The story of the hamburger starts way back in the 19th century in Hamburg, Germany, where it began as a simple ground beef patty. When German immigrants brought it to America, the hamburger quickly became popular, especially in the 20th century. It soon became a staple of fast food culture in the U.S., thanks to pioneers like White Castle and McDonald's. They took this humble dish and turned it into the iconic symbol of convenience, taste, and tradition that we all know and love today. No hamburger is complete without the bun, and in the world of McDonald's, the crust is key. It all starts with these massive machines that prepare the dough, proofing it twice and punching it down to make it easier to handle. Then they turn the proofed dough into light and fluffy dough balls. Watch how perfectly they roll them up. A bit of dry flour is sprinkled around to keep things from getting sticky. Nobody wants messy dough, right? Next, the dough balls are placed into molds where they'll rise again before baking. The egg sprayer and sesame seeds are ready to go before the buns head into giant ovens. These ovens are so huge and efficient that they bake the buns at 240 Arto for 10 minutes so they attain a glossy golden finish, batch after batch. Just look at those perfectly lined up rows of thousands of buns. It's impressive. Even though the recipe has stayed pretty much the same since 1948, Every safety step is carefully followed to make sure your burger is delicious and ready fast when you order. Our journey into the world of McDonald's hamburger production begins with the careful selection of meat. Skilled butchers handpick select cuts, destined to become the centerpiece of the hamburger. These cuts are chosen not just for their quality, but for their suitability to be transformed into the perfect patty. In modern production facilities, this process has been refined to an art form, where the meat is prepared with precision before it enters the next phase. Imagine a factory where 5 million hamburgers are produced daily. Yes, you heard that right, 5 million. In this temple of production, an average of 500 kilograms of meat is transformed into the patties we cherish. To put this into perspective, 500 kilograms is akin to the weight of a small car all converted into the savory patties we adore. This staggering number showcases the scale at which McDonald's operates, meeting the demands of customers worldwide while maintaining consistency in every burger. Once the meat is selected, it's sent through automatic grinders, where it begins its transformation. This grinding process is key to creating the burger's texture and bite. The meat is ground to just the right coarseness, ensuring every patty has the perfect consistency. This step is vital for maintaining the high standards McDonald's is known for. Inside the busy factory, millions of hamburgers are made each day, all starting with this careful grinding process. But the magic doesn't stop at grinding. 
The ground meat is mixed in large tanks with a special blend of spices and ingredients. Each McDonald's hamburger has its own unique flavor, created at this stage. This marination process is where the meat really comes to life, soaking in the rich spices that get deep into every bit. Each bite is packed with a distinct, mouth-watering taste, showing just how much care goes into making every hamburger. With the meat now marinated to perfection, it's time to shape these delicious patties. This is where the shaping machine comes in, a crucial part of making a McDonald's hamburger. The machine carefully presses the seasoned meat into molds, forming the classic burger shape we all recognize. Each patty is made to exact standards, ensuring they all look, weigh, and feel the same. This precision guarantees that every McDonald's hamburger meets their high quality standards. After shaping, the patties are introduced to the grill, where high temperatures work their magic. The grilling process is where the flavors truly come to life, as the heat seals in the juices and creates the perfect crust. This step is crucial in achieving the signature taste of a McDonald's hamburger, ensuring that each patty is cooked to perfection. The grilling process is carefully monitored to maintain consistency, so every bite delivers the same delicious experience. But the process doesn't stop there. After grilling, the patties are quickly frozen at minus 18 degrees Celsius. This step is crucial because it locks in the freshness, keeping the burger's flavor and quality intact. Quick freezing ensures that every patty stays tasty and maintains its texture until it reaches your local McDonald's. It's an important part of mass production, allowing McDonald's to serve up delicious burgers around the world without losing any of their signature taste. Next comes the crucial stage of packaging, where quality and safety are top priorities. In a clean, temperature-controlled space, each hamburger is carefully sealed to keep it safe from any contamination. But the packaging does more than just protect the burger. It also provides all the essential details, from ingredients and nutritional facts to expiration dates and cooking instructions. Everything is clearly labeled. This transparency builds trust with customers ensuring that they can enjoy their McDonald's hamburgers with confidence. Meanwhile, in the back, the vegetables go through a thorough washing process where any dirt or specks are removed in an automated system. On the production line, each vegetable is carefully and quickly packaged, making sure that every slice of lettuce, tomato, or onion in your McDonald's hamburger is fresh, crisp, and ready to add that perfect burst of flavor and texture. Cheese, too, plays a crucial role in the McDonald's hamburger experience. It undergoes its own swift performance, sliced and sealed, capturing freshness in every slice. Wrapped in clean packaging, each component, from the cheese to the vegetables, is a promise of flavor and texture, all set to converge into the beloved hamburger. Finally, all the components come together in the assembly process. The bun, patty, vegetables, cheese, and any additional toppings are carefully layered to create the finished product. This step is where the magic happens, as the individual elements combine to form the hamburger that millions of people around the world enjoy every day. The assembly process is designed to be efficient, ensuring that every burger is consistent, delicious, and ready to be served. The Art of Hamburger Production in our exploration of McDonald's hamburger production, we've seen the precision and care that goes into each bite. From the meticulous selection of meat to the precise blend of spices, each step is a chapter in the story of the hamburger, culminating in the creation of a dish that's as rich in history as it is in taste. If you've enjoyed this culinary journey, show us some love, like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tasty adventures. Join us as we continue to savor the art of food and explore the stories behind the dishes we all know and love. This is how McDonald's hamburgers are made in a factory, an intricate process that combines tradition, innovation, and a commitment to quality, all to bring you the perfect bite every time.